Um, I guess it goes without saying it was it was great to be out there again on Saturday, even if the result didn't didn't quite go your way. Yeah, definitely. I've been out a little while now, nursing an injury, so very good to be back out on the pitch. Obviously, need to help the boys and get some results as soon as possible. So um, yeah, really excited to be back and hopefully some more game time to come. Did the time out last longer than you you maybe thought? I know hamstrings can be can be sort of tricky things to judge, can't they? In actual fact, it was quicker than it was anticipated, so I'm um, quite happy about that. Uh, knowing my body as I do, I knew that was going to be the case anyway, so um, yeah, we kind of got over it quicker than we expected. And never, never ideal whenever you're a professional footballer, but never ideal when you're on loan and you want to make that impression, having made that, that initial impression and wanted to keep it going. Yeah, it is a difficult situation, but um, experienced player, you know, I know what I'm, I'm capable of, the manager knows what I'm capable of, so you know, of course it started, started well under the new manager, so wanted to carry that on. And then obviously the injuries put me back a little bit, but now back, got to get back to that level as soon as possible. And need to get some results as soon as possible as well. Are you a good watcher of games when, when you're not able to play or not? Nah, I'm terrible. Changing the channel and stuff, getting wound up. So um, yeah, it's hard to, to be out of it and watching from afar, you know, it's difficult for me. Um, as you said, you know, especially because the game, my last game, we, we did so well and got a result. So that was difficult having known we were sort of turning the corner and then not being a part of it for so long, so now it's important that I come back and help the team get the results as soon as possible. Yeah, because you, you, you want to make that impact as a lone player. We, we've seen you can make the impact and the consistency of games, I guess, will, will show us you at your best. Most definitely. You know, every player needs to be fit and that comes with game time and consistency will come with that repetition. So the more games you get on the bounce, the better you should perform and then you can find that level quicker. We've seen it from this team, haven't we? We've seen it in the games that you've been involved in. We saw it against Harrogate. We've seen it in obviously the trophy games. We saw it against Doncaster as well. We've seen it, haven't we? It's just frustratingly, it can't sort of stretch into three, four, five, six games. Very frustrating, very frustrating because we know what we've got as a group and we know that we should be competing higher up the league. So even, you know, on Saturday, losing in the manner we did, you know, last minute to a controversial goal. So from that point of view, we know we're competing with these teams that are higher up the table than us. So for us, it's important to now turn those performances into results and be where we believe we, we deserve to be. When you see things like that happen, conceding that last minute goal to something which clearly shouldn't have stood, does, does it sort of hinder your belief? You say, well, we've done all that, put all that work in, and yet still, you know, something like that means we don't get the result we want. No, no, no. For me, we believe still, you know, we know what we're capable of. So as a team, we know we performed well. There's some things you can't control and, and that's a big part, you know, of the game. Control what you can control. That you can't control. So it's out of our hands. It doesn't dampen our belief. We know we're pushing in the right direction and everybody's on board. So, um, yeah, we'll be all right. And yes, we always just dust yourself down. There's always another game. Lots of games coming up as well. And a tough one at Sutton because they're a bit of a difficult team to judge, I think. They have been for a few years, you know, they've been very consistent in their level. They've always done quite well in this division since they got into it. So it will be a tough game, no doubt, but we know what we're capable of again. So we'll give them a good game and hopefully we'll come out on top. Yeah, you said a couple of times now you, you know what you're capable of. Does, does it make it even more of a head scratch that you look around the change room and you think, well, these are players that have played, played a lot higher, like yourself as well, and, you know, produced a lot better, that you, you can't pull it together? No, I, I wouldn't say we can't pull it together. We know we are pulling in the right direction. So for us, it's like... Once it clicks and everything clicks, for example, the stuff you can't control, then that will go in our favour. So we're doing what we can and we know we're capable of doing more and that will come. And just finally, it, it does strike me as a group that does pick itself up, does dust itself down and is very much together. It's a very motivated group, you know, it's not a group that is, is devastated by, you know, certain things like that because, again, it's out of our control. So we know that we've got a good group, we know that everybody's on board and we're all excited for the next game.